Using the End User Report Designer and the Extra Report Designer for Visual Studio, you can export report layout definitions as RepX files that can be distributed to your users and displayed using the Report Viewer for WinForms, ASP.NET, Silverlight, and WPF. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the native WPF Extra Reports Viewer to load and display a master detail report using the WinForms End User Designer. So let's get started. I've previously created a sample master detail report bound to the Northwind database file. The report definition was saved to a RepX file on my desktop. So let's minimize the report designer and see how I can display that report in my WPF application. You can see that I've created a new WPF application project that we'll use to load and preview the report file. First, let's create a simple UI that allows us to browse for a file and invoke the report viewer from the toolbox. I add text box and button controls onto the window and resize them accordingly. I'll add a second button and position it underneath the text box. I'll give the buttons appropriate captions to browse and display report preview. Before going further, I'll add the required reference to the devexpress.xpf.printing namespace. Back in the event handler, I add the following code to create an open file dialog object and specify its properties. You may notice that Code Rush is running in Visual Studio and is suggesting that we can use an object initializer. Let's follow its advice to reduce the number of lines in our code. Next, the open file dialog is displayed, and if a file was selected, then the text box is populated with the file name and the second button control is enabled. Now let's create a handler for the second button's click event. Here I'll add the code to create a new report instance and use the load layout method to load the layout definition file into the report class. Then the report viewer is invoked to load and render the report preview. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. I click Browse and select the RepX file on my desktop. Then I click on the Display Report Preview button, and the definition is loaded and the report preview is rendered within the WPF Report Viewer. For more information on extra reports, check out our online documentation. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.